can, you can do this, right? You can do it. Come on, man. We can do it. We can. You got a little home? Oh, yeah. even better. All right. Iraq. So I want to say thanks to Occupy Central Vermont for pulling this together. And um, thanks for all y'all are doing. Give yourself a round of applause. And uh, thanks to all the other performers sharing the mic and audience and everybody. Um, I work with a lot of folks here, but also Will. Uh, we work a lot together with Rising Tide, and we're going to be doing a whole bunch of direct action trainings coming up, uh, leading up to September, the People's Climate Mobilization that goes beyond the Sunday March uh, direct actions all through the city. And um, if anyone has any questions about how to get on a bus down there, I mean, maybe y'all are organizing on it anyway. Um, or if you want to talk about trainings for folks you know, um, please talk to Will or myself. And um, also the trainings are going to be leading up to a big mass action against the hydrofract gas pipeline. So as probably most of y'all know, uh, an Enbridge, Stone, Gas, Metro, all up in the big energy giant mix, Vermont Gas Systems has this hydrofract gas pipeline project that they're trying to tear through uh, western Vermont over by the lake and then underneath the lake to Ticonderoga to International Paper, the, the funder of the project. Um, so if anyone is interested in getting at all involved with the work that Rising Tide has been doing, um, it would be great to team up with Occupy Central Vermont and uh, really build the coalition up. So let's chat afterwards. Um, and I might like leave a sign-up sheet and then split because I'm trying to get back. There's a community meeting in Plainfield about how to respond to what's happening in Ferguson, Missouri, and the uh, murder of Michael Brown. So I want to go catch that. So that's happening up at the old Institute for Social Ecology. There's a potluck up there at uh, Jade and Sarah and Madeline's place. So pardon me if I duck out quickly. This is a poem called The NSA Stole My Pen. This one's going to win. <laughs> and, uh, Suli, Suli Brakes is this amazing poet from the UK who I sort of like bit this, uh, at least the format. He's got this amazing poem, you can check it out online, called R.I.P. Um, and it's all riffing on R.I.P., rest in peace. And uh, so this is like all riffing on the NSA acronym. The NSA stole my pen. The NSA stole my pen. Never speak again. The NSA stole my pen. Pick up the phone. Hello? No such agency. Walk down the street. What's up? Now stare awkwardly. Not something audibly. New shoes? Actually, need some after these. Walk a mile in them shoes. No simple athlete. Run for cover, run for cover, because the NSA is after me. The NSA stole my pen. The NSA stole my pen. Never speak again. The NSA stole my pen. New serious accusations. Now slated after conversations. Naming such altercations between pen and paper. Dream and maker. No simple accident, patriot faker. There is no safe arena, for the judge will subpoena your Facebook and your little nook where new scribbles arrived. No sanctuary abides. The Neverland saw as child the natural scenery all around. No longer safe anywhere. I have nervous sentiment always about now silent atmosphere. No one speaking, afraid, my dear. The NSA stole my pen. The NSA stole my pen. The, the, this hits like knuckles, smashing ability to write, to speak like a nuclear submarine attack. Week after week, again and again, the NSA stole my pen. No survivors act. We all pretend I'm not seeing all views, numerous sides around perspective, no serious accident, noticing scenes atrocious, emotions and their sentiments are now seen as not something American. Nostalgia says, accept it. Expect that no situation actually matters. 
except the ones the nation state approves with records, need specific answers, need s new survey asserts, need supreme acquiescence, noose cinches another notch strangled around, nobody say anything, the NSA steals everything. The NSA stole my pen, the NSA stole my pen. No biggie, steal another. Nail scratch a poem, now seeking to avenge the loss of homes, the natural state afforded by not staying alone, but in the web of community, now severed apart by the nation's stated area lines, all flown over and watched by neo-colonial state airlines, neoliberal seating available, all aboard, none shall, access, none shall access without new security assault on your personal body, on the tip of your tongue, strip search mandatory, now spread apart. Nationality? Say American. No one says anything. New South Africa! Not sanctioned answer. New South Africa, where Nelson stood against apartheid. Racial profiling. Naturalization and assimilation. Nationality? Shakur Asada, Negro sought after. Still not safe in asylum. Now sought after by NSA and and FBI, CIA, and the president guy not saying anything. The president guy not saying anything. No sinking approval. Look at the sky. See National Space Agency building a lie. They have not seen aliens. Increase their budget sky high. Not so affordable. Congress will fudge it with their pens, with their pens. But this empire depends on natural systems. After all, no serious alarm, just a telephone call. Hello? Hello? No such agency. Engaged in neurotic spying aimless, aimlessly. Catalogs my every making. Notes sympathetic acquaintances. Nathan, Sarah, Adam, Nick, Sasha, Avery, noodle, soup, avocado. No one stays anonymous. Government needs several apparatus to nullify servants' anger, needle-sticking apparatus to narcotic societies alive, need some alcohol to not stay awake, no now sleep away, the never-ending situation of abuse, nerves still ache, cannot see another way, now stuck in apathy, cause the NSA stole my pen. The NSA stole my pen. They sent notice served aloud. No one say anything. National security alert. No one say anything. Need you sing anthem. Please notify some agency to upload new security appliance. With neurosonic accuracy, we'll need to stick a needle. Somewhere about next to some artery, your heart now serves America. Now supply all pens to us. No one's sovereign anymore. Nine secret activists, notoriously seen as anarchists, neatly sever acronym under nighttime special auspices. Their nocturnal subversive actions also liberated 9,000 stolen artifacts, some of which were pens and papers. The hundreds of iPad factories and computer labs are now set ablaze. It was not some accident but a needed set of affirmations to nourish some anarchy, nod to saboteurs' actions engaged in the deeds, engaged in the deeds. It's nice that Snowden acted, and notes set free by Assange, Chelsea Manning, noble, she is amazing, my cat's amazing, Avalon, Marie, Asada, amazing, Judy Berry, amazing, Redwood Summer, amazing, Earth First, amazing, everyone here, amazing, enough said, amazing. This is the time when new solidarity abounds for needed struggles all over. Now is the time. Native sovereignty again. Natural systems appreciated. Now seen alive. New solidarity abounds. Night sound alive. We'll make our pens into knives. Now slice apathy. No snitching allowed. No snitching allowed. No, seriously, asshole. Never say anything, but instead, now sing again. <laughs>